right now this is my current read first off the cover is really <laughs> to draw you in because it's like neon colored i guess it makes sense because from the title itself it's hippie so like it's reflective of hippies and stuff like that well actually the book is about the european borders in the 70s about hippies in the 70s about traveling across europe and there's a love story in it as you can see like i'm not yet halfway through it but i'm almost halfway through it so far i'm liking it i feel like if i continue to read every day i'm gonna finish it immediately like i'm about to be halfway through anyway so it's it's good i didn't hear any reviews about this like i just went into the bookstore and then i thought why not buy a book because I'm almost done with all of the books that I've read up this month. So I picked it up and it's not that expensive. Like it's only 3.95 pesos. So I so said why not? 3.95 pesos for the brain. I like that I've actually been reading more again and the stuff that I'm reading right now aren't really within my comfort zone because I'm also trying to challenge myself with the genres that I'm intaking, whether that be books or shows or movies. Like if they're not typically what I would absorb, I want to try it out before like I would want to be sure if this book is worth it or this show is worth it to watch based on like popular opinion. But now I'm just like, if it's a good book, it's a good book. If it's not for me, then it's not for me since I write for a living. I really need to read more because, you know, we've got, we got to refresh your brain because I feel like in this past few weeks of not having a phone, I realized how much I've fried my brain so much from scrolling mindlessly on my phone all the time. Every time that I'm bored, I go on my phone, check my socials, go back and forth. Even though there are no new notifications, I go back and forth, which is unhealthy. I also got this from Stephen King's book, which is literally a book on writing and it's called on writing and it's also his memoir he doesn't get why people don't get a book because what do you do when you have to wait in line or like you have to wait at the hospital what do you do in those periods wherein there's a buffer in life you know the more productive alternative during those waiting times is to well read a book like Connor Franta says, or used to say, I don't really watch his videos anymore. Read a book! If you want to know stuff about life, read a book! Also, I prefer physical books. Like, I know I'm pretty old school like that. Like, some people would prefer the convenience of a Kindle. But I don't know, a Kindle is still an electronic. Like, yeah, there may be less radiation from the screen but it's still radiation i want the feeling of having a physical book in my hand and flip, literally flipping through the pages and smelling them like this one smells so good it smells like those old books whenever i'm gonna smell a book this is a random sharing it would always take me back to the time when i was a little kid and i would enter my aunt's room because she read a lot of books and she had like a literal closet for books it's just books on books on books like a bookshelf I'm like the closet for books see this is why i need to read more i'm running out of words the closet of books the bookshelf it's interesting how smells take us back to a memory let's talk about that this is what happens when you don't have a phone, you have to stimulate yourself in other ways. And for me, it is vlogging my experience about it and my frustrations about it. I don't know if this is going to be a separate vlog of just like, or just a webcam vlog. Yeah, maybe it could be. Like, no one does vlogs like that anymore and you just sit in front of your laptop and just ramble about stuff and not show anything. <laughs> got my phone to start working again glad that this is working um today is friday and i want to go to the cafe that's why i'm all made up i started my week there because we didn't have internet connection and now i'm thinking you know what it's friday i want to go out when i stay in for too long i get sick i just i need some sunshine i need to see other people i have quite a bit of work to finish up i'm excited 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 to get these done at the cafe and you know 
be inspired. So I'm just at home with my bare face. As you've seen in the previous clips, I was just doing some adulting stuff. Adulting stuff, what they didn't tell you is it involves a lot of phone calls. <laughs> a lot of going back and forth with these institutions and like and waiting time. There's a lot of waiting time. So right now I am just editing a TikTok video. I've been debating should I do it now or should I do it later but since I'm the master of procrastination which is something that we should improve self today is a Saturday and I am just planning to stay at home for the whole weekend because <clears throat> I am not feeling well again I'm sick of being sick To my neighbors fighting. I don't know if you hear that, but okay. I can't wait to get out. I can't wait to move. I feel not so great. I still feel sick. I've been drinking meds every once in a while, and it seems to not be doing anything. I'm not feeling any better. I feel like 50% energy. So I moved to my living room slash dining room slash kitchen so that maybe I could work better. My head is just all over the place. Like I'm not writing as fast as usual. Ideas are coming harder for me today. Also, my mind is scattered. Like there are a lot of stuff in my mind right now. A lot of life stuff, obligations, intrusive thoughts everything i woke up pretty late because i feel sick but it's like also at the same time i'm not 100 sick it's like i'm 50 percent sick and 50 percent not i know i'm sick as in cool but <laughs> i don't know today is a struggle i feel like i haven't been as productive as i am in some days i'm trying not to be hard on myself because i have like a goal every day so that i can consider myself as productive but yeah, today I'm not achieving that. <coughs> when will my sickness ever go away? When will I not be sick in this vlog? That's just me randomly checking in. <laughs> Work day is done. Starting the work week on a Tuesday feels kind of weird. I think weekends need to be three days to have like the proper amount of rest so yeah i'm gonna do a little bit of yoga i want to challenge myself on doing a 30-day yoga thing again i mean i did it before but i just want to do purely yoga the next 30 days i found this channel that was different from the other yoga channels that i've been watching for years and for some reason i felt more challenged with his yoga tutorials for the longest time i feel like i've done 
easy yoga so i want to level it up the first few days that i've done is yoga i felt very sore like i lifted weights or something but really it's all just body weight i'm gonna do my yoga thing now and stop so okay bye How September kicked my ass vlog and it's a different kind of vlog it's kind of like sit down but also with clips from the past like some snippets during that period here and there it's already up if you're watching this that was a roller coaster oh my god I I, I don't want to experience that ever again I know life has problems but come on like space it out at least do not give them to me consecutively like just space it out. Like maybe, you know, a couple of problems this month and then maybe a year later. <laughs>